A year ago, Alan Copperberg, the billionaire CEO of Wearsoft and pop singer Vandalia, perished in a plane crash. During their autopsies, small insect-like winged creatures, presumably extraterrestrial, were found in their skulls. This is when we first became aware of the butterflies. Since then, we found the creatures in a handful of high-profile politicians, celebrities, and titans of industry. They enter the human body through one of its orifices and burrow through the brain, where they then are in control of the body. They go through the butt? I think that's just some uh, creativity on the part of whomever did the animation. The butt is an orifice, OK? That means they'd have to crawl through poop. Just because they're aliens doesn't make them gross. Bigotry. Superman's an alien. He's got a poop fetish. Get what? the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. He uberly bays the old shizers. I understand it. Where do you get this nonsense? Google. Well, it's not true. You know more than Google? Well, congratulations. The butterfly's unique genetic structure and chemistry interact with the host bodies, giving them strength far beyond that of a human being. And what's the chimp for? Chimpanzees have four times the strength of human beings, so they're both strong. Yeah, and we're supposed to get that just by looking at this guy, Beard? I thought that man and the chimp were friends. I was thinking they were about to go on an adventure together. This viscous amber fluid has been found on the premises of all the dead butterflies. Lab studies show the fluid's genetic structure is dissimilar to anything on this planet. The fluid seems to be the butterfly's only food source, which makes what Leota discovered last night potentially significant. This was on the bulletin board in the Goff home. Leota noticed that this is also where Annie Sturphausen was employed. Ah, ah, you fucking suck at PowerPoint, Dibeard! Yeah, well, you can do it next time. It's not like I enjoy doing this. Yeah, you do! It's amazing the incredible amount of time you put into this presentation and how incredibly shitty it still is. Okay, Peacemaker, <laughs> shut up. Dude, I didn't mean to put your father in prison. Then why'd you put him there, you fat fuck? Because I couldn't think of anybody else. What about Ariana Grande or Drake? What? Brad Pitt or Payne Stewart or Doug the Pug? Khloe Kardashian, the Red Tiger from Voltron, Fran Tarkenton, Joe Montana, Joe Montana, Eddie fuck? Murphy, Michael Jordan, Michael B. Jordan, BTS, Eugene Levy, fuck dude, John hell? Lovitz, shut the fuck up and listen, man, I'm giving you a list of people you could have done, Danny DeVito, Will Ferrell, Howard Stern, Baba Booey, Robin Ophelia, Quivers, Alice Cooper, Ozzy Osbourne, Sharon Osbourne, Bill Cosby, he just got out, he's got time on his hands, Amy Winehouse. Dude, Amy Winehouse is fucking dead. Optimus Prime, Shipwreck, Cobra Commander, the fucking cunts from Riverdale. All right, next time I fucking have to frame somebody, it'll be one of all those fucking thousands of people you just mentioned. Yeah, tell that to my dad. Peacemaker, shut the fuck up. Do y'all want to be here till tomorrow? Do you have cable? So I don't want to stay here overnight if there's no cable. Fargo's on tonight. It was a rhetorical question. Oh, OK. Well, then I changed my answer to just ignoring the question. Not another word. The point is, the raw amber fluid is potentially processed and bottled at Glantai Bottling Company. Glantai is in Little Cork, about two hours northwest of here. So you all are going to take a field trip and see what you can find out. I'm going to stay back and deal with the white dragon situation. Nice penmanship, asshole. And Fargo's not on till tomorrow night, you fucking nerd. <laughs>